everybody. Welcome to Thought Sauna. I am future WWE superstar Brett Hanrahan. I'm Smooth Jazz Sam. Mm. I'm Grammy nominated but never won because I'm not a musician, Cyan. Amazing. <laughs> this is our show where we talk about shower thoughts, weird laws, and dreams. You got it. I almost lost. I almost <laughs> forgot for a quick. Got second. it in one. You made this. You made, you made this, this show. You're the, yeah, you're the you creator. Made it. Yeah. Well, How'd you know you what? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't forget. I just. It was really slipping my mind. I really had to grab and grab and get in there at it. So with without just, further delay, let's just get into the thing. Yeah. Oh uh, God. Okay. What, what crap? What do we do first? Um. Well, my dream. The dream that I have is very short. It's not. It doesn't go into much detail. It's more of a general idea of it, which I think we can build upon very well. All right, let's go for it. So this one, oh no, I'm in my text messages. Let's go back to Google. Oh no, I'm looking at MT, MP2 format. All right. Oh no. Oh, Here we you go actually again. looked up what that what that is. What is what is it? It's not important. This no. is this is submitted by Amy Paget <clears throat> on Facebook to a BuzzFeed article I am currently on. Hmm. Also submitted by Dan Meth via BuzzFeed. I had a dream in which I spent a steamy evening with E.T., and he pleasured huh? me. Huh? Oh. And there's a little drawing of a girl in bed. E.T.'s on top of her, and she says, what else can that finger do? So, mm-hmm. let's build upon this. I think this is a very good first thing for yeah, the podcast. Yeah, no, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for knowing that was your thing and volunteering to go first. That was really <laughs> very good of you. Um, there's an obvious, like, kind of, like, E.T. phone home, finger touch, uh, fingering joke in there. Yeah. We don't, we don't gotta make. No, we, we, we can let, we can let, we can let that slide. Yeah. I think what is more, I think what's more important to me is that she liked it. It it seemed to me that when she woke up, she was like, oh, I kind of enjoyed that. It didn't, I have to address the whole, what that finger do. Uh, that. <laughs> well, we we did just say we'll let that part be. We could just let that. No, you know, it's let's just... let's let's go off. On Stick that. that finger in my thrusty. Stick it in your thrusty. Get that. Mm. Ah. It's super long. Ah. And, the, and like the ah. the tip of it glows. Does it get warmer? Ooh. You think oh, you, you think if you glow it up, you could see it? it like, I just think the... it's not possible for us to film a good podcast. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so I do think that she liked it because she did wake up and she wasn't like, "Oh, I'm against that." She very she one she submitted it to Facebook, and that's that. Right. So that's... Like, she wanted her friends to know. She was yeah. like, "I had a dream. Yeah. I had a steamy." It wasn't like I was with ET and he fucked me. It was like I had a steamy evening with ET. It was romantic. I don't want to me. imagine. I don't want to imagine steamy because that it, that implies both parties like. When it went down, it got hot and heavy. What? So that yeah, means I, both of them no, were sweating, st- and I don't want to imagine E.T. sweating. Well, mm, you know what? When I, when I heard Steamy, I imagined them kind of in like a hot tub, you know, maybe in a spa, and they're just relaxing so you're with each other. you're taking it literal. In a thought Yeah, I'm sauna. taking it pretty literally. It was very steamy, and they're just like chilling out together. You know, they're having a good time. The woman like found E.T., I haven't seen that movie in so long. What? What did he? Where did he come from? The closet. He, what? <laughs> the closet. <laughs> he, was, he was just yeah, in. He, he was just in there. there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's part of the movie. He just hides he in the closet. Buy all the, <clears throat> buy all the Tonka toys. They just never saw him before. Yeah, like right by like the fucking vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but if it weren't for the picture, yeah, she uh, never specified that it was the alien itself. And not just like a physical copy of the movie that she pleasured herself with. <laughs> that you know what, Sam, I do like that interpretation. You're so of right, it. Sam. It, it could have been just question, was it VHS? I was like, wow, you know what? I'm thinking about this wrinkly <clears throat> little alien, and I'm starting to get a little hot and heavy. I wish it was real, but it's not. Good thing I have this DVD. Well, but did she, no? Did she pleasure herself VHS. with the VHS? Yeah. The DVD, okay. or even if she felt a little fancy, the Blu-ray. If she felt a little fancy, the film reel. <laughs> that she stole from a theater. That's good. You could do stuff. Boy, Stolen we haven't used film Hollywood reels vault. in theaters in years. <laughs> from the Disney ball. <laughs> it's friggin' steamy Don't, don't e. think it's Disney. And it's definitely not Disney in that dream. 
Unless Walt Disney suddenly joined in somewhere in there and she's not telling us. Do you think, do you think, how do you think the dream started off? Do you think they were already in it? They're like, they were already going at it or like E.T. appeared and she's like, well, it's going to happen. So I might as well just accept it. No, it was I like think the that, scene I think at the she end asked of him. I think they like went on a first date and mm. they're hanging out. And she's really into him. And E.T. was like, ah, I don't fuck on the first date. And then she was like, come on, baby. And he was like, you know what? You got a good thrusty. And his finger started glowing. And she was like, don't I see that finger glowing. And he's like, you got me. Do you? God. No, I think it went down a little more like this. She imagined herself in Elliot's position at the end of the movie. (laughs) Elliot was the name of the little boy. Listen, I haven't watched this movie in like 13 years. (laughs) Same, but I somehow remember this part where Elliot, or where, like, E.T.'s people are picking him up, and Elliot's like, goodbye, and E.T. goes, I'll always be right here, and he pokes Elliot in, like, where the heart is supposed to be. Mm, so you're, you're saying he would poke, like, the woman in the, The uh, nipple. In the... <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I was gonna say more in the, uh, vaginal region. No, I'm thinking we're the... Uh-huh. I don't think we can. Uh, I hate. I hate that I even brought up this idea now. Man, uh, we got to talk about it. Do you think his dick glows up? Like the tip of it. <laughs> I don't think the network. Did you say like glow this. up? Did you say glow up or blow up? Both. No, not blow up. Not blow up in any case. It glows like his finger. Yeah, like the hey. like the tip of it glows. Hey, there's a whole scene in ET where like. You know how he's all, like, short and stumpy? But yeah. there's, like, a scene where he, like, extends his neck ah, to where he's... Oh, oh God. No. I did not I need that picture again. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. God, Sam, you're right. There's a reason oh, he's no. so wrinkly. Sam, you made this the worst. <laughs> oh, God. How is it not already the worst? It was I already don't... pretty bad. I just forgot no, that he, he extends his neck. You think he has, like, a little chode? <laughs> And she's like, I want it longer. And he's like, ah. She and can... then it's fucking like. And there's no, there's no universal. There's got to be a reason he's so huge. wrinkly. <laughs> and it's no, wrinkly. Yeah, no, matter, no, matter, <laughs> no matter how long and how stretched out it gets, it remains wrinkly. <laughs> no, no, I was, that's worse than what I was going to say. I was going to say he, he's wrinkly so that way he can stretch out whichever body part he needs pretty much indefinitely. Oh, oh God! Oh no! That's no good for anyone. <laughs> this well, apparently it was good for her. I'm you imagining know... him like stretching out his ass cheek, like a super long <laughs> ass. <laughs> a l- what the hell? A l- like a long ass. And who would that? But benefit? okay, here's another in thing. that in that exchange. <laughs> okay, but here's another thing. Going off of my theory that ET can ex- due to him being so wrinkly can extend any limb he wants. He would be an invaluable player to the Monstars in Space Jam. Oh my Jam. god. He could deflect Michael Jordan's dunk. He can he could be the guy that like <laughs> reaches his arm up there and they have like an arm reaching contest. Ooh. That's And then but then you th- yeah. and then think about it. He's ET is not only able to stretch just like by his biological wrinkles, he's able Dude. to stretch like a Looney Tune. E.T. would be able to stretch further than any Looney Tune ever has. Oh my god. I didn't think that was possible. E.T. E.T. in the Looney Tune universe, the Looney Tune world, is a monster and is not a power that we should mess with. Jesus. Ew. So that was really gross. So what do you think that dream means? I think she's just horny for E.T. She's got an alien thing. I, yeah, I think she has a thing for aliens that she's exploring. Yeah. Guillermo del Toro? Yeah. Again, I haven't seen that movie in so long, so I don't know if that was a reference. It's a reference to The Shape of the Water that's about to come out, where Guillermo, Guillermo de, del right. Toro oh, admits yeah, he wants yeah, to yeah, fuck girl. a fish, oh, man. Oh my god, that is such... Uh, you know, is that pandering? Isn't the disaster artist, which we you guys were literally talking about, where he wants to fuck an alien... The disaster arc no. is about how Tommy Wiseau wants to fuck an alien. Tommy Wiseau is okay. an alien. <laughs> and I'm your age. I'm your age. So this whole thing is just Mass Effect. This I, whole uh, thing is Mass Effect, and that's that's the final. Hey, what's up, you guys? Reach. I've never played Mass. 
<laughs> I mean, that's fair. Sam, we'll go it's ahead and start. It's a fun game, but we'll start our own <clears throat> podcast about Mass Effect later. Cool. We'll call it. We'll be so original when we call it Ass Effect. Am I right? Oh, no dude. one's ever thought of that before. Just talking about alien butts. So I think we've milked yeah. this dream segment more times than we can milk E.T.'s wrinkly dick. So let's go ahead and move on to our next segment, oh, uh, which can either be no, law or No, you uh, did not say talk. that. I'll go ahead, and Brett. What's your law? Uh, yeah, I'll go. Ahead. I'll go ahead and read <laughs> mine. Milked E.T.'s wrinkly dick. Uh, all right. You already did a sex thing, so I'm gonna do something a little. A little brighter. Okay, yeah, let's save that for another This one's time. a little more upbeat. In Texas, it is illegal for one to shoot a buffalo from the second story of a hotel. But the third story is, like, fine. The third story is the first, fine. Any, any, yeah. Okay. First story is fine. If it's, like, a building and not a hotel, it's fine. I so, okay, so if the second know building of, like, a house or of, like, an were... office, then it's fine. Completely. Cool. I didn't even know we had buffalo... Buffalai? Yeah, Buffalin. Buffalo? Yeah, I didn't know they were, like, native to, like, really more than, like, maybe one region of Texas. I haven't seen them around lately <clears throat> in my backyard or anything, so I, I didn't think so either. But, I mean, maybe they brought them along, like the buffalo, to this hotel in Texas. Oh. So yeah. it's kind of like a bringing a cow up the stairs thing. They, you brought the buffalo to the hotel. You brought it to the second floor, and then you shot it. Yeah. What if this man was framed? What if he brought the buffalo as, like, his friend, and then someone shot the buffalo from the second story, and he was framed for it, and that's why this law was made? So you think we gotta go out, and we gotta solve the mystery? That's exactly what I'm turn, saying. Turn off the podcast. We gotta go. Yeah. We gotta find the buffalo... Dinger. We also got to find a way to get a gun. We're in Texas. Is this... We're in Texas, Sam. It's Sam, not you hard. act like it's going to be something impossible for me to walk in and be like, hi, I'm over 18, and they're going to be like, here's your honorary gun. There's literally, I literally have like three different guns Sam, we are within a, a one-mile radius of myself right now. Sam, we are an open sword carry state. <laughs> I, that's right. I know. I know that law because I got a knife and not like... A well, small pocket knife. I'm talking like this thing is a foot long knife. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. You can too. buy a knife just whenever. I mean, right? we were an open knife state like for a while, but now we're open sword. Yeah, yeah it's a sword. It's, a t- it's totally <sighs> different. You can't throw a sword at a buffalo from a second story hotel. Yes, you can. Oh. The law only said you can't shoot. Yeah, but you. Can- does that wait? Does that count for like bow and arrow? If I shot yeah, the what buffalo it, with bow and arrow, let would me that just count? open carry my bow and arrow. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> specify exactly what do you think what if you walk? Shoot. If it was a Nerf gun, into... <laughs> absolutely. Nerf illegal. guns are v- if extremely I, If it was a illegal. slingshot and it was like a paper ball, if I spitball at a buffalo from the second <laughs> floor of a hotel, no, they'll they'll arrest you on the spot. <laughs> no trial. No, not at all. <laughs> no okay but for real though like there's rules that are like hey you can't have this toy gun because they might think it's a real gun and like we wouldn't have that problem if real guns weren't allowed <laughs> what about what about this little train of thought it should be illegal to shoot anything from a hotel how about that no no just buffalo just buffalo <laughs> o- only only buffalo I mean, if you shoot a sheep, if you shoot a cow, if you shoot a person. Yeah, Doesn't we matter. have sh- we have so many sheep here in Texas. We have we have so many. Have if, you, ever... if you shoot a peacock, if you shoot a blue bonnet, it's all fine. <laughs> well, the blue bonnet's a little more strict. If you shoot a blue bonnet, do you get arrested on the spot? <laughs> if you Probably. look at a blue bonnet wrong in Texas, then you I will remember... be on the run. Wait, hold. So can I can I make a confession? Please. When I was in the third grade. I, you thought you were gay. Because my uncle was, and I kept my room straight. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> when, when I was in third grade, I, um, I really wanted some blue bonnets for my, for my house. Mm. So I picked you're, a You sound bonnets. like you're admitting like a deep, dark secret. I am. I picked blue bonnets, Sam. I mean, 
Ha, so did finally I. got you to admit and it. When I was seven, I, mean, I picked two blue bonnets. I picked a couple too, and it's just like, hold on! No, oh, no! I know, right? No! I, I picked them, and it's, I was like, it's trying to be police. secretive about They're it. They're after me! I was trying to be secretive about it. Like, I picked them and, like, hid them under my shirt, and a kid saw me and, like, called me out. Like, another kid was like, you picked a blue bonnet. This and is a call-out like, oh, no, post sorry. for Cyan. She picked blue bonnets. Oh, my, y'all. I, I am on the phone with 911 right now, and the SWAT team is headed to your location. You just outed yourself. That's right. I've been working as an undercover cop for the past 21 years as your friend to try and finally get you to admit that. God damn well, it. Well, you admitted it, too. I'm the other undercover cop. I was trying to bust y'all for weed, but this is better. <laughs> <laughs> like this is this is a much more profitable strain for me. Uh, by the way, if you don't live in Texas and you're listening to this, uh, we have a state flower, and if you pick it, it's against the law. Yeah, like it, and it's I think it's the most beautiful flower in Texas. Oh, it's a very pretty I flower. The blue bonnet is like so gorgeous, and so, every time blue bonnet season rolls around, I get a little happy. It's totally cool that it's illegal that they can't arrest you to pick it because it it deserves that much. Yeah. Um. But yeah, these. But yeah, it is illegal you, to pick that flower. You both will be going to jail. Uh, we'll still record the podcast, but that's understandable. You'll be though. behind bars. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's we'll funny. have to, we'll have we'll have very serious time constraints. I think we're only allowed visitors for how long? Like an hour. Perfect. Um, Just enough time to record an episode of our podcast. Dot sauna, premiering on Mondays and Wednesdays every week. Oh no, we're doing two a week. I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Not Sunday. That's the Lord's Day. Sponsored by MeUndies. <laughs> Sponsored by MeUndies. <laughs> Guys, if we say that and then we don't get them to sponsor us, like, could we get in legal trouble? No. Not as long as we don't shoot a buffalo from the second story and pick a blue bonnet at the same time. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, I think shit, we're good. the ultimate crime. Yeah, that's, that's actually uh, what Anonymous is doing these days. They've stopped, like, hacking into government files and they're just picking blue bonnets and shooting it's because they real anonymous realize that there's so many government scandals that like all the stuff they uncover really isn't that scandalous anymore <laughs> like like we just expect it like we already know yeah it's it's just we we we're just doing it man we we're our simple existence it. is a government scandal like That's... that one book series that we had to read and like i think it was fourth or fifth grade about the invisible children or something oh yeah the one that uh, was that like set in japan or was that no no it was like off? let the record show i don't, I don't know what the fuck that was about. uh crap what was it called sam it was... i don't know but like it was it was supposed to be set in like i guess like if america had a population problem yeah so we implemented that no family could have more than two children and then it focused on this one third child and and then like i guess throughout i we only read like the first book in elementary school i think but i think the series ended with that third child leading a fucking revolution yeah for sure it was it was like he was pretty much harry pottering at the beginning he was like trapped in their attic and he could only like read books and stuff but then but he it was saw... for his own protection rather than abuse yeah that was abusive by the government uh, we could go on about this book. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, I I'm really, really don't glad that we're going on called. about a book. I was about to give right a summary, now. but, like, wait what in. was the law again? The law was you can't shoot a buffalo from the second story God. of a hotel. <clears throat> okay, I propose to you another thing. Yes, please. You have a knife throwing contest from the second story window at a buffalo. Legal. You aren't shooting. What is that you for? Is that shooting. to repeal the law or something? What is that for? No, I don't want to repeal the law. We need to protect our buffalo population. Yeah, so we should By throw knives, knives at them. Yeah. It's harder to hit. Or, I've got another thing. Yeah. An another genius all, proposal. <laughs> all it. hotels can either be A, no more than two stories high, mm. or two, only have second stories. So they have first story, and then second story, 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 then second story. Then second story. <laughs> Do you so know how this, elevation works? <laughs> this will give everyone a chance. Yeah. All right, so no one can ever shoot a buffalo because every single story is the second story. They're like, dang, duped again. The first story is the second story. We just put the hotel on stilts. 
and yep, you gotta jump exactly. to get in there. <laughs> the only possible way someone could legally shoot a buffalo then is if they shoot it from the ground in the parking lot of the hotel, and then they're just open fu- opening fire, and I'm pretty sure someone can get arrested for that. As long as it's a buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you but if you open fire and miss the buffalo, you are then firing like you're then just releasing open fire. Like if you don't hit your target, you're then opening firing just out in the public and police can't arrest you for that. If that's, you hit the buffalo though, you're safe from prosecution. It's risky. It's a risky game, but that's why people play it. Is, it. it that that was a summary of the law. I assume the actual law is like a good 47 pages of specifications and yeah like specifically like it's got to be this kind of buffalo yeah and and all this like all like the ways around it and stuff like that yeah and if you're like on your tiptoes then you're kind of in the third story you're good uh if you're like crouching then you're kind of in the second first story you're good but i'd hate to go to court for that since there's so many different specific like i think it'd be impressive if you met all those specifications exactly to to like avoid the law and like get off scot free, no to like exactly <clears throat> by the books uh, break the law. Oh, yeah. Right on. I'm under undercover cop. Let's go on to the next section. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, my turn. Yep. It's Sam's turn. Do you want? I brought a little bit of a festive one to kind of get into the holiday spirit. Oh yeah. It's almost Thanksgiving. You ready? The it's time, almost thank. Did you, what? The time for eating. The time for grub. It is Festivus. If Santa knows when kids are naughty and nice, why didn't he know Rudolph was being picked on? Well, Rudolph wasn't being naughty or nice. He was just getting bullied, right? But he knew right, the but other he kids would, were being little yeah. shitheads. Oh. Yeah, he, he, well, the other the other kids were reindeers. They weren't. Yeah, does it count if it's people or like not people? Does he have a separate list for animals? For every animal on Earth? Oh, that's. That's a deep. How do you even. I want to propose to you an idea my Wait, friends and Santa I did have. What is supposed to fucking do about it? He's not like the law. He's just not going to give those fucking little shits gifts. He's not going to show up and be like, you motherfuckers. Like, what? Like, he's not their dad. He he can't like go out and just punish random like children. Children. That's not his job. <laughs> what was your proposition, Sam? So, <clears throat> a few friends of mine, men, uh, and I were talking specifically about mall Santas. Okay. Yeah, it's a and a friend of mine currently lives in South Dakota due to college. And he was at a mall, and there's a decently high uh, indigenous, indigenous people population in South Dakota, and a little indigenous girl was sitting on Santa's lap, and this Santa was speaking, I believe it was LaCroix? That's a type of liquor, that's, I'm sorry. That's not a liquor, that's a type of sparkling oh. water. That's a like carbonated water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My point is... <laughs> Wait, I believe that's French, right? The, he was speaking in Lacroix. Wait, that's not a language. That's liquor. No, I mean Tapo Chico. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. My point is, no, he's he speaking, speaking to in... Sonny Sparkling. <laughs> Fuck off. He was speaking to the. He was speaking the language that this little girl knew fluently, yeah. so that she could understand that, so that she could talk to him, and that was really fucking cool. Yes. And then that got me thinking, like, Santa probably speaks every language in the world. And then that got me thinking again. These mall Santas, like that one mall Santa that knew sign language and signed to the little girl. Like, you've seen that video, right? No, No. not really. Well, there's a video of a mall Santa who used sign language to talk to a little girl, and she was super happy that she could sign to Santa. Yeah, Yeah. that's super cool. I think think Santa Claus, all the mall Santas are not just people that get hired. All the mall Santas are shadow clones of the original Santa. <sighs> okay. I think Santa Claus is the Hokage. <laughs> He's the Hokage of the world. Honestly. And here's 
And someone, and then we came up with the idea, like, why would Santa want to go out every, like, try and travel the world all in one night every year? Why would he do this? And we came to a very simple and elegant reason as to why he would do it. To test his abilities. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> Hope y'all like our Naruto themed sex podcast. Yeah. And he has like all of the the reason he can see is all is that he has like I don't know whatever the ultimate no, he, form of the Sharingan is called. He has every jutsu, dude. He has every jutsu. He has every he has every Sharingan. He has every Byakugan. He has every single eye there is. He's the most powerful ninja ever. He's immortal. And this also explains why there's so many different like I don't want to say versions, but like people imagine Santa all looking kind of different. Wait, because he can transform. He can use illusion jutsus Hold to up. transform his image at will. Is becoming Santa Claus what Orochimaru's goal was the entire time? <laughs> Is that what he wanted? Dude, I totally forgot they had it in chapter 386 of Shippuden. He said, that was his I, ultimate goal. Orochimaru, I want to become Santa Claus. I want to become Hi, Santa. Hi, I'm Sam, and this is my uh, Naruto OC Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> my AU where Orochimaru becomes Santa, because all he really wants to do is give You can't call it an AU if it's canon. You're right, I'm sorry, yeah, my bad. Yeah, you gotta get your terms right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sam, I think you're spot on with this Santa ninja thing. I th and I mean, he's got a. He uses the illusion jutsu or the transformation jutsu for all the mall Santas. You don't want people to yeah. get suspicious. That way, they all that way they all look different and maintain the illusion that like adults uh, somewhat have a grasp on reality. When really, if they learned yeah. the truth behind Santa, their heads would explode. That can we bring up that topic? Oh, I have a headache. very common topic. What, what what's the topic that? of what? <laughs> I think I'm learning the truth about Santa. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think my head's gonna explode. <laughs> in all the Santa movies, there are people who, like, the parents get all pissed at their kids that they believe in Santa. But then Santa is real in those movies. And wait, hold on. This is a little sidetrack here. Why is it in Christmas movies that parents are so pissed that their kids believe in Santa? Why are they always yeah. so upset about that? They're always like, you got, he's not real. Like, what are you the doing? Kids yeah. You gotta grow up. You gotta grow up. Santa's not real. Then the real world will always disappoint you. Ho, ho, no, ho. Santa's a ninja. Santa's fucking real, kids. <laughs> Santa's a ninja and he'll kill you. I'll get him Mom, you can't say him. that about Santa. He's well, now, real. And he's a ninja. Well, okay, y'all. Yeah, y'all, y'all. I think we're forgetting something. A big key part of Santa's canon. Is this Santa before Tim Allen killed him? Or is this Santa Tim Allen? This is, is Tim, Santa, Allen, Tim Allen, Allen is the ninja. ninja. Tim Allen is an extremely powerful ninja. <laughs> Do you think when Santa died, all his shadow clones disappeared? Wasn't there, a, wasn't there a like sequel to where where Santa Claus kills Jack Frost? I think that yeah, that was Santa Claus powerful. three. Did he kill Jack yeah, Frost? He fucking murdered him in cold blood, dude. He shot Did him from he? the second floor of a hotel, and then he was like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> "That wasn't me." <laughs> <laughs> And then he got his, uh, you know, his little fen friend behind the fence to, uh, you know, take the body and bury him. Yeah. That's what he's standing and on. Take the body the and replace it with a buffalo body. <laughs> yeah. Replace it with a buffalo so people will think I just shot a buffalo. <laughs> no one will care about that, right? There's no law about that. <laughs> as long as he didn't do it in Texas. <laughs> I mean, Arizona's fine. Second story <laughs> hotel, doesn't matter. Anywhere else is perfectly A-OK. -okay. Don't even worry about it. Does Arizona even have hotels that are taller than two stories? Arizona is a hotel. Yeah, what? no one really, uh... No one really lives there. They just <laughs> yeah. go there and then they leave. <laughs> they just They go there and it's usually an extended stay that they just don't know how long they'll be there. Or they leave within, like, two days. <laughs> <laughs> what was the thought? Santa Claus what, the, is God, was the thought. I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that was. Oh, Santa the, Claus. the shower thought. Yeah, yeah. Santa the Claus. Is the Hokage. shower thought was. The shower thought was. Uh, if Santa Claus can see when children are naughty and nice, why didn't he know that Rudolph was being picked on? Wow, we went. We got. We got way off track there, didn't we? Off track. 
Uh, it's because he doesn't want to waste his chakra on something so insignificant. You fool! You absolute fool! Santa has unlimited chakra. He can't just have unlimited chakra, Sam! He's not the freaking he... god of chakra. He didn't get all his powers from the chakra tree. He's he's like Goku, who summons the spirits from those with... He gets his chakra from all of the world. Are you saying he's... Are you saying he's like every... An, he has the power of every anime? Can can Santa go Super Saiyan? <laughs> Super Santa? <laughs> Does Santa have a yes, Bonkai? I'm saying exactly... Oh my god, Santa absolutely has a Bonkai. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? What's it, what's his bond? He also has a Vos Lordes form. <laughs> All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, Santa Claus. You're right. My bad. Oh my, Santa. Santa is also an extremely talented alchemist. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't he be? Santa sure. also has a book where he can just kill people. I think. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. One. What do you think the naughty and nice list is? Did you know that it's not actually a sleigh? It's actually a pirate ship. Oh. He's looking for the One Piece. <laughs> Name the what is it? The Sunny. Uh, the Sunny. Uh. The the, the friggin' Sunny s- Sunny Mary. Oh my God! I've literally watched every single episode, and I'm it's caught like, up on the main. It's called Sunny, and then like a verb. Go, like going Sunny, Jesus run Christ. Sunny. I think it's the going Sunny. We don't. Hold this on, is an important. I'm gonna look this up. It's not the North Pole. It's a giant hand. Was that a... The Going Sunny is in fact the name of the ship. It was a Fully Cooly reference. Okay. You know it was a Fully Cooly reference. Yeah. yeah. Thank God we're All the elves in. are uh, robots that popped out of Santa's head. And he also has the pillows playing the soundtrack for his workshop just yeah. 24-7. Well, hey, hey, any, like anime? any good working <clears throat> no, business has hate the anime. pillows. How dare you even assume that? Do y'all like anime? This is our no. anime-themed podcast. All right. So I think we, I think we officially, you know what? I feel good though. We got off track, off topic, and on way different tangents on everything except for the ET sex dream. We so really think, stuck to that one. So I think that says a lot about us, and I think that says a lot about our podcast and the direction it's going to go in. Yeah. So that was that was the episode. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We... Remember to leave out the cookies and milk from E.T.'s wrinkly dick out for Santa Claus. That's right. Ew. Maybe E.T. is one of his other shadow clones. That's for something completely different, though. That's just for Santa to get down. That's just for fun. That's just for, that's just a, you know, a hobby. We need to trap E.T. in the Looney Tunes realm. <laughs> Alright, we're saying Jesus gibberish Christ. now. We're saying gibberish. We're ending the episode. All right. Thank you for oh. listening. Have a lovely week. Have a lovely Thanks week. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, and happy Hanukkah. We don't have an outro. Adios, oh. amigos. Have a good day. I'm Sam. I'm Brett. Sleep well. And that's sleep well. Hanukkah. Thank you. Good night. Sleep well. Happy happy day. All right. Good Are we day. Done? All right, we got us. We just got it. All right, break everybody. Bye.